You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers, more specifically the quarterback situation, because. You know, I did a video last night where Kenny Pickett skipped out on his media obligations and did not fulfill, and I believe it's contractual, the obligations like after their exit interviews at the end of the season, this and that and the other. Well, nonetheless, Kenny Pickett just said, bleep it, I'm out. Now he's, I'm sorry, he's openly disgruntled over Mason Rudolph and the fact that, yeah, Mike Tomlin wanted to play the hot hand and I don't blame him. They never make the playoffs if that's Kenny Pickett to finish the season. And I've got to wonder, there's a lot of fire around Mason Rudolph and him being the starter next year. We've also got a story about the fact that one of the quarterbacks that's getting a lot of steam in free agency and the Steelers is Baker Mayfield. All right. So we know Baker's had a massive comeback year. Um, People have really forgotten. He played for, what, like four different offensive coordinators in like five years. It's been a mess for him, but he hasn't given up, and he's had this massive bounce-back season. They play in the divisional round against the Lions this weekend. I think he's got 28 touchdowns, 10 picks this year. All right? And people are drawing that line. But before we get to that, let's get to the fact that uh, a Steelers star wide receiver is just openly – Openly now, he's out on Kenny Pickett. He's out. Because he is now openly and vocally talking up the idea that he wants Mason Rudolph as the starting quarterback on this team. Well, that means he's done with Kenny Pickett. And you can imagine, if Deontay Johnson's saying that, how do you think George Pickens feels after having a 200-yard game with Mason Rudolph? I mean, there's not a snowball's chance in hell. I don't think the way Kenny Pickett looked this year that George Pickens was ever going to have a 200-yard game this season under him. So, uh, you combine all that with all the sort of like attitude, entitled entitlement kind of feelings that are coming off of Kenny Pickett right now, and it's either going to be a free agent or it's going to be Mason as the starting QB in Pittsburgh next year. There is some belief. I got two articles. They're both from uh, SI. There's some belief that the Steelers will give Kenny Pickett another opportunity in 2024 to earn the starting job and become the next franchise quarterback in Pittsburgh. His first-round status holds pretty high ground in the NFL, but his 13 touchdowns to 13 picks aren't as promising. No, they're a train wreck. For those who don't look at draft stock, like other players within the locker room, Rudolph's time as starter provided more optimism for the future. That would be Mason. Quote, I've been on the Mason plane, so it wasn't nothing I wasn't expecting for him not to do. I kind of had high hopes for him doing what he's been doing when he became the starter. Wide receiver Deontay Johnson said after the Bills' loss, I hope he gets the job next year and do what he's got to do but he did a great job in my opinion. Wow. I hope he gets the job next year. I mean, that's telling you right there. He wants him as the starter, but the byproduct of that is your first round pick. He hopes is not the starter. Whoa. Pittsburgh's three and one record at to end the season with two uh, more than with two, a few. Come on, SI who's, who's editing this crap. Pittsburgh's 3-1 record to end the season had a few uh, milestone moments there. First, back-to-back 30-point games since Week 5 and Week 6 of 2020. Yikes. The most offensive yards in a game since 2018. First Steelers quarterback to pass for 250 and two touchdowns since Ben Roethlisberger in 2021. Wow. Longest completion by the air (laughs) since 2017. 130 yards in the first quarters against the Bengals, marking the most by a Steelers quarterback since 2018. The Steelers will need to re-sign Rudolph and will likely compete. He will likely compete with other teams looking for him to audition for their starting job. 
He signed a one-year, $1 million deal in the offseason after getting little to no attention from other teams. So that tells you right there. I mean, they're going to have to probably pay him somewhere, I would guess, in the neighborhood of around $10 million just to be sure they get him back in there if they decide not to go the free agent route. But, look, Mike Tomlin, we all know how he connects with his players. I mean, he can hear this around the locker room. And I suspect that's why, I suspect that is why Kenny Pickett didn't get his job back. Along with the fact that he was the hot hand, he just didn't get his job back. Now, the Steelers need an offensive coordinator. Now, there's several good ones out there on the market. Shane Waldron's a good one. Eric Bieniemy's out there. John Gruden, technically speaking, and there's been whispers of him to the Steelers. I think he's going to the Saints, but you never know. Cliff Kingsbury, he's tied to the Raiders right now uh, as as the potential there, but he's not hired yet. Josh McDaniels is out there. Just throwing that out. But the one that would make some sense in terms of what we're going to talk about here is Alex Van Pelt. He's been the offensive coordinator for the Browns for a long time. And it sounded like it was a mutual parting of the ways between him and Kevin Stefanski. Um, I'm not sure what happened there, but Alex Van Pelt was open about the fact that he's just looking forward to his next opportunity. Like, he he wanted to be let go. Now, I I don't know. He may have gotten fired, but it sounded like he wanted to be let go to be able to try another team out. I don't know. But uh, it would certainly make some sense to pair him with this franchise, with this uh, free agent slash franchise quarterback. Pro Football Focus's Gordon McGinnis believes there's an outside option that is perfect for the Steelers, and he'd like to see them pursue him. That option is current Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Baker Mayfield. Quote, it feels very likely that Mayfield will stick around with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But on the off chance he does hit free agency, the Steelers should be the first pick to, uh, team to pick up the phone, McGinnis writes. While Mayfield hasn't lived up to the billing of being a former number one overall pick, one could blame the franchise that took him for that. He is back at a level of his second and third seasons with the Browns, earning a 746 PFF grade with 25 big-time throws in the 2023 regular season. Taking a chance on Mayfield turned out well for the Buccaneers this season as they prepare for the divisional round of the playoffs against the Lions. This season, he threw for 4,044 yards, 28 TDs, 10 picks. It goes on to talk about the spot track value, which has Baker in the neighborhood of 27 million times four years. So Baker's going to get a pretty good contract from somebody. Now, we don't talk about this enough, even though we talk about the Browns and Baker a lot. But the sheer fact that he came in there, competed for that job, won it, and never blinked in the shadow of Tom Brady. Tom Brady just left and won the Buccaneers a Super Bowl while he was there. And the Buccaneers ran a clinic on the, pa- or on the Patriots of how you follow up losing Tom Brady. Jason Light said, let me bring in a veteran. Brought in Baker Mayfield, paired him up with good wide receivers. And you see the correlation in the, in the lines you can draw. Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, Deontay Johnson, George Pickens. Right? You got some running backs. Your running game is certainly better than the Buccaneers as far as actual talent, Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, and you can kind of see the the lines to draw to Baker as the starting quarterback. Blue-collar kind of guy, got a lot of moxie, tough as hell. When he gets the shit kicked out of him, he gets right back up. He keeps playing, and the fact is the, the, the city of Pittsburgh would love Baker. That said, if the Buccaneers let him go, they're nuts. They, they're absolutely insane if they let him go. I think you can probably put to bed the other thing, the other elephant in the room with the Buccaneers, and that's Todd Bowles getting fired. He's not going anywhere. And I've got to give him more credit. I mean, 
you know, a lot of people were calling for his job. Hell, he just won a playoff game. He's not going anywhere. And one could say he held that team together post Tom Brady, and that's certainly and, and Baker Mayfield too. He's got to get some credit for that. So, you know, it's pretty wild. Baker is absolute. Russell Wilson's going to be another one that gets a lot of fire with the Steelers. But you're probably going to get Mason on like a ten a ten million dollar contract, maybe twelve million, or maybe somebody really makes a play and it's fifteen million. What do you do at that point? All right, because you're still gonna you're still gonna pay above twenty five for Baker. All right. Uh, personally speaking, Mike Tomlin Baker together, those weapons, you might be able to win a Super Bowl up there for Pittsburgh. I don't know. You know, I mean, we'll have to see because you look the the Steelers defense is better than the Buccaneers. They'll have T.J. Watt back, and you got to think there's a chance of being very, very competitive. Uh, he beat the – I think Baker beat the Chiefs while he was with the Browns uh, in the playoffs or either beat them or took them to the wire or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, but nonetheless, you get my point. <laughs> Kenny Pickett doesn't have a lot of fans in Pittsburgh, in the locker room. I mean, for your one of your star players, and even worse, your star wide receiver, just comes out and says, I hope Mason gets the job next year. Well, that your, your franchise, supposed franchise quarterback first-round pick, is hearing that going, what the hell? I mean, openly, Mike Tomlin's hearing that too. I think Kenny Pickett gets traded. After hearing that and reading that, this is going to become a bigger story as the offseason goes on. Kenny Pickett's out of there. Between that, his attitude the last six weeks, his actions, and then walking out, I bet you if you gave Mike Tomlin truth serum right now, I bet he's completely done with Kenny Pickett. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.